My friend, what do you do when you walk into the house after work? Are you one of those people who tends to overthink what you do and spend half of your night pondering the next day at work? You're not alone, my friend. Too many Americans have trouble unplugging from their work and letting go once they get home. Insomnia is an epidemic concern for too many people with their minds stuck at the office. Why should we care? Because when your mind robs you of your time away from work, it affects your mind, body, and spirit. So, what can you do? Research by Baylor University and Emory University shows that making a to-do list before you leave work for the next day is extremely beneficial. Imagine your sticky notes stuck to your desk, and all of your concerns for the next day are stuck at work with the note. Some other ideas are getting out and exercising, practicing meditation, listening to music, watching an entertaining movie, and practicing spiritual disciplines. I bring all of this up, my friend because we let so many things interrupt our lives. When work robs us of sleep, family time, our time with God, and even our joy, we have a serious problem. Do you remember our devotional talking about journaling yesterday? They also recommend journaling to write down the events of the day at work and reflect upon them briefly before you leave work. If you add journaling how you saw God working in your life that day, you may be able to sleep very well at night. Let the quiet of the night care for the troubles of each day. As long as the earth endures, seed time and harvest, cold and heat, summer and winter, day and night will never cease. Genesis 8 verse 22. I have given you the day and night to be your servants. The daytime will make it possible for you to set about your business. The light will serve as a daily blessing to you to guide your way and illuminate your labors. Take time each day to receive my light as a blessing, not just add it as another tool in your belt. The light will serve to give you energy and bring joy into your sometimes dark work. Rest from your work in the evening time as well. The night will serve to give rest to your body, quit your overactive mind, and unburden your soul. The beauty of each night's rest is that you don't have to do anything to enjoy its benefits. As a matter of fact, the less you do, the more you will get out of each evening's rest. Let the labors of each day roll off of you as each night seeks to relax you. This is not a hard lesson, but once learned, the night will become your bed of restoration. The secret of how you find rest every evening is to let the day's troubles fade into the calm of the night. Too many of my precious children take their problems home with them. You create a fear-based evening specter when you drag your problems from work into your home. Leave your troubles locked in the bottom drawer of your desk or chained to your time clock. Let your problems rustle and rumble at work, they have no place in your home. Sink silently into the night with me as your companion and caregiver. The easiest way to take your mind off of your work is to do, think, or talk about something else. That may be easier said than done, but you need to make a major shift in what you are doing. The minute you start thinking about work, have a plan A in mind that you will engage to get you out of the thinking rut. Be thankful for your job but remember your employer only hires you, they don't own you. May I share a prayer with you, my friend? Loving God, so many things steal us away from you. We pray that you won't allow us to ransom our spiritual lives for our employment. Help us find a process that will free us from the chains and captivity we create for ourselves. We can be our own worst enemies and expect more. We can have unreasonable expectations that others have for us. Help us leave our work behind and find rest for our bodies, minds, and spirits at the end of the day. Instead of looking for more work at home, help us find peace and quiet. Rather than attempting to solve work-related problems, help us find you through prayer, O oh God. Instead of our monthly reports, let us read scripture. Rather than reviewing a spreadsheet, help us find peace in the quiet of the day. We are thankful for our jobs, but help us leave our employment at work. 
we need time apart from what we do to enjoy who we are. In the name of Jesus, our blessed Savior, we pray and say Amen. May I direct you to our website again, my friend? We have a collection of guided meditations that may be helpful for you. We have evening affirmations, soothing evening music, Bible verses, and several other guided meditations that may help you move away from your trap of being stuck at work in your mind. Remember, if you want to stop thinking about work and enjoy life, you must shift your thoughts. Nothing is closer to you than the Spirit of God.